been going here since St. Joseph's since I was like three. I did my confirmation communion and I'm planning to get married here too. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little borough in New York City. I think we're really isolated. Yesterday when we went to a meeting, they gave us 75 coins and each medallion um, tells you to pray for the Pope, have a prayer um, to yourself, and then you can pass it on to someone else. So you can distribute this coin and they can register it online. And when they register online, it will tell the website where the person is from. And it can just show how, how, much, how many Christians are around the world. And then it's going to have a tracking system that keeps track of where this coin has been. So the goal of the, basically the concept is to see how far the coin could go. It's, it's the type of way to, to spread the faith. We have to make use of all the means that the world offers us to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ. And technology is really a critical means uh, on Facebook and other social networking sites. Young people don't seem to testify about their faith. They'll talk about what they're reading. They'll talk about what the shows they've gone to. And we thought that World Youth Day would be an opportunity to have young people as missionaries talking about their faith on social media sites. We're in the 21st century. The Pope is tweeting. It's quicker for the youth to understand what's going on in 160 characters and to read, I guess, the paper. My phone, it's like all day until I go to bed. <laughs> There's Facebook and Instagram, play games and all that. One of the uh, initiatives of DeSales uh, Media Group, uh, which is in the Diocese of Brooklyn, is to establish a unified platform of technology. That would involve websites and applications for mobile devices, cell phones, tablets, that sort of thing. Because really, what is the courtyard of the Gentiles today? The courtyard of the Gentiles that we hear very much about, especially in efforts of new evangelization, that, that courtyard is really the Internet. Throughout the history of the Catholic Church, uh, there have been times where there have been greater or lesser devotion that has taken place. That's where these conversations need to take place. We had a poster of a man in a robe and sandals, and it said, the original hipster. And everyone thought it was Jesus. And one of the things I do know is, is that there have been a number of people who have come to church simply by seeing that ad. And it seems very funny. It seems like, you know, it seems very corny and crazy. But, you know, those are the things that kind of stick in people's minds. And uh, it's just trying to make a connection for people. Look, I'm only trying to be a question mark. Amen. Ah, CCC, now 